Teachers tend to not like it when students memorize essays and recommend against it, but this method has always worked best for me. Every time I've done it, I've gotten excellence the top grade. Hi everyone, Stella here. In light of upcoming exams, today's video is going to be about how to memorize essays. Memorizing essays can be a fantastic method, however, there's a couple of key things to note uh, beforehand, which is firstly, it only works for exams or standards where the question that you'll be tested on is predictable, so you can prepare for it. Number two, the number one mistake people make related to the first point is that they fail to answer the question because they've memorized a word for word essay. You have to be able to rework your essay to the question by changing the topic sentences and changing the links uh, throughout as you write or afterwards. The essence of your essay is the same, but it's adapted to the words of the question. And that way you're memorizing all the ideas and the words, but there's just a few alterations that you make. If you fail to answer the question because you're memorizing an essay, you're not gonna get the grade that you want. Also note that it's not just about memorizing a bunch of words. You do have to understand what your essay is about and what each sentence means. Otherwise the process is gonna be really, really difficult. If the sentence flow of a line doesn't make sense to you, change it. The more familiar you are with your writing, the faster the process is going to be and the easier it will be. Uh, so that's also why if you were to just finish an essay and then try to memorize it, it'll be a lot easier compared to if you try to memorize a thousand words about a book you've forgotten the plot of from the beginning of the year. Now, here's the process for memorizing an essay. Step number one. Read through the whole essay a few times on your computer screen or print it out to become familiar with it. You can also familiarize yourself by turning the essay into a bullet pointed version. Write or type each paragraph as detailed bullet points. This forces you to slow down and process each line of information. Number two, break up the content into sections of about 200 to 300 words. This is usually just doing each paragraph at a time, but if you have a really long one, you may want to split it into two or into 50 word sections. You'll memorize each section at a time. Number three, read through the paragraph of 200 to 300 words a few times, speaking it out loud if you can. As you become more familiar with the paragraph, start to finish off the sentences yourself without looking at the screen. This challenges your brain to recall the information, solidifying it in your memory. If it's really difficult, focus on the first 50 words, then the next 50 and so on until you're confident with the whole paragraph. Once you're feeling confident with the paragraph, write it out on paper. Try to avoid looking at your computer screen, but if you forget a part, refer to the original document and write out that part in a different color pen or highlight it with its own color. Number four. As you write, you can also underline or highlight keywords of each sentence and other words or lines that just feel harder to remember that you feel like you may forget. You can also put brackets over each independent and dependent clause in the section and put numbers by each bracket in circles so you note how many clauses there are in each section. If you're struggling to memorize, also count the number of sentences in this section. You can even take it a step further by counting the number of words in the section if memorizing is feeling really difficult. Number five. After writing it out a couple of times, write a summary of each sentence in bullet points. As you write the bullet point, try to think about the whole sentence. Step number six. Then it's just a matter of repetition until the paragraph is solidified in your memory. It's best if you can practice rewriting the paragraph a few times. This can be quite time consuming though, so as you do it, if you manage to finish the sentence in your head, you don't have to bother with wasting time writing out the words too. I'll just do an ellipsis, a dot dot dot, and move on to the beginning of the next line. My handwriting also gets pretty lazy and messy. The hardest part to recall is usually the beginning of a sentence, and most of the time, once you get the beginning, the rest of the line flows smoothly. Number seven. Once you're confident you've memorized your essay, take a break and go do something else. Come back to it in a few hours and try to recite your essay again. This enforces your memorization. Highlight, bold, or underline any trouble points, or all three, and from here your essay should be pretty well memorized. Feel free to experiment with the steps and play around a bit to see what works best for you and your learning style. For example, you could try color coordinating every paragraph, highlighting all the topic sentences blue, the explanation sentences green, the evidence pink, the links orange, and so on, which could help structure things in your brain. Sometimes circling words that are the same or similar in a sentence can be useful. 
For example, remembering there's one time where a name is used in three pronouns, his and him, can help. Acting like checkpoints in the sentence to remind you of parts of it. It's like you're filling in the gaps in between these similar words in order to obtain the whole line. Usually after memorizing, I'll go through the document and bold the beginning of each idea within the paragraph. For example, in this paragraph, I have number one, what, two, repression, three, classes, four, workers, five, peasants. This directly breaks it down and gives my brain clarity about the structure of each paragraph and the number of ideas within it. Then I'll turn the content into really short bullet points, not detailed long bullet points like the first ones when becoming familiar with the essay, but really short, snappy ones. Taking away fluffy words like the and taking away words I know I know, and I'll structure the bullet points in terms of these numerous ideas within the paragraph. From there on, I'll practice recalling my essay with only the bullet points document for reference, rather than using the full essay document as much. Up until your exam, you will have to regularly practice reciting your essay to ensure you don't forget it. With this system, I can memorize about 2,000 words in three hours. These are roughly the steps uh, I follow, but sometimes I'll miss a few steps or uh, spend a bit more or less time on certain parts depending on how easily I manage to memorize it. Sometimes one line will be really easy to remember while others are just much more difficult. Another memorizing tip is that if there's a specific word or line that you're just really struggling to remember, well us humans are visual creatures, so associate it with an image of an object or another person. For example, for Arthur Schopenhauer, you could associate it with Aquaman, whose first name is Arthur, and imagine Aquaman in your head. Or for Chopin, you could think of a little shopping bag and draw it on your piece of paper, which sounds like shopping. Or soap and shower, which sounds like Schopenhauer. You just think of those images and it reminds you of the word. The more absurd your images are, the more likely you are to remember it. When you think of a word, whatever you first associate it with, no matter how random or obscure it is, just go with it because usually those um, first instinct associations are the ones that you'll remember in the exam room as well. So there you have it. This is how I memorize all my essays. If you would like more tips and advice, feel free to check out Stella Spirit at stellaspirit.co.nz. See you there.